Hey guys! So um, it's actually Sunday today and as you can see I'm in my car. I'm actually sick right now. Well, I had a fear last night. My temperature was 30.5. I'll show you the photo here. And um, yeah, I've been and I had body weakness. And um, yeah, I was just so tired last night. Uh, after a long day, I thought that, like, you know, um, it will just be like because I was tired. But then, yeah, I had fever and um, I st I'm still not fully recovered. Like, my, my body's still weak and uh, I still have fever. I've been taking Panadol around the clock to um, help relieve the symptom. And um, yeah, as I am a healthcare worker, I have decided to get tested today for COVID-19. I don't think it's COVID, but just for um, precautions and safety measures, I want to uh, get swabbed. And uh, also because, you know, I was with a lot of people yesterday. I've been to a few places and um, yeah, and I was working on Friday as well and for the rest of the week last week. So just to be safe, but uh, praying to God that it's not COVID and it's just, you know, like uh, a flu. So right now I'm going to a drive through testing clinic in Summerhill, which is about 15 minutes away from my place. So I'm going to drive there. So I'll share with you my experience. Um, because it's my first time to go to a drive through testing clinic. I've been tested last year for like maybe two or three times, but it's always in the hospital or in the um, or in the medical center. Come with me, let's go. So I've just arrived at the testing center. So as you can see, there are cars lined up, but thank God it's not on that. So yeah, so I'll just wait here. I thought there are not a lot of people, but there are actually quite a lot. I'll show you the cars inside there. So we're kind of outside at the moment, but there are a lot of cars, maybe we find maybe 20 cars lined up waiting inside. So um, yeah, I'll show you. So the cars, so I've got one, two cars behind me and there, there are like about 20 or more cars waiting. As I checked in, I was actually given a mask because I didn't bring a mask. I forgot about it. You know, I thought I wouldn't need it anymore because I'm inside the car. But yeah, and now um, I've already submitted my check-in details. So they've just asked me to check in and uh, register my details online. So these are the things that they need before you get tested. So details like your full name, gender, date of birth, your contact details, and residential address, and yeah, just the rest of your details really. I'm always been waiting for someone to come and check me in as well. Yeah, I don't know, but some of the staffs are... Yeah, they're asking me to come forward, so I'm just going forward and I think this lady here will ask me some questions, I don't know, so I'm just waiting really. And yeah, hopefully it will be done soon. I just want to go home. <laughs> hmm. And also, um, part of the questions in the check-in um, was if I am or part of it is if I am a healthcare worker and yeah, I put it there but this is actually not my district because this is close to my home this goes to my place my district is you know, quite far away but yeah, I put there a healthcare worker from another location yes! as you can see guys, we are so lucky and blessed here in Australia because we've got all this um, we've got a lot of testing centers here. Okay, have you been to any of the hotspots? No, no. What did you have today? Um, I had fever last night, 38.5. I still have, before I got here, it was 37.8. Yep, I had uh, 
body no no respiratory symptoms <laughs> A nurse. I'm going to next shift. Ah, uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Can we actually get a mensur here? You'll just have to tell her how to test and wipe them. Okay. Nurse, next shift. Tomorrow. Okay, guys. So as you have seen, I've taken a video of myself while um, the lady, one of their staffs. Uh, ask me questions, so ask me more details about you know like my symptoms and all that. And as I told you, I've got fever and uh, body pain and headache, so I told her not to. And since I'm getting tested today, I'm getting tested today, I won't be allowed to come to work tomorrow. And uh, although my shift is still at night time, I I still don't want to come to work because I still feel sick and I want to fully recover. Now I'm just waiting again. I'm actually at Bay 1. I don't know if you can see there, but there's a lot of cars in front of me. And behind me as well, they're also doing all the interviews and da 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 da. And yeah, and apparently Bay 1 is the busiest one, so it takes um, a bit longer than the other base, but it's fine. Um, yeah. As long as I'm just inside my car and I don't really need to go down in the um, yeah, and I just hope that I'll still feel okay <laughs> in the next um, you know half an hour maybe uh, so that I can go home safely. Um, yeah, because just after I had lunch, I started having headache again and felt like feverish again. And yeah, I had Panadol um, at lunchtime, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will help me get through the afternoon, and especially while I am here waiting. Yeah, and also yeah, they've given me a mask, so the masks are in an envelope, so they actually gave two, so well, maybe they're expecting. They're very couple-minded actually, they always give two pieces. So, they're probably thinking that I have someone in the car with me, but no, it's just me, but it's okay. Yeah, like more is always better. And yeah, so it's all safe. It's in an envelope. They've uh, prepared it beforehand. I think she's coming up to me now. Okay, thank you. So that's it guys, I've already been swapped, but as you heard, um, I don't know why they're still waiting to be swapped, but yeah, I need to wait because there's no way for me to escape this place or leave this place uh, while they're in front of me. But yeah, at least I've been swabbed already and that's all done. Just waiting to go. And yeah, hopefully the result is negative and whew, 
Hopefully, I can leave soon. Alright? Go home and sleep. So, yeah, guys, as you saw earlier, I've already been swabbed, and uh, that was okay, actually. It wasn't that bad. Like, I feel like I'm a worse swabber whenever I swab my patients. <laughs> I, I go all the way in, I feel like I hit their brain already. But, um, yeah, that experience was okay, and, um, um, the, the lady who swabbed me actually gave me this one. Um, yeah, it says here, thank you for helping us stop the spread of COVID-19 in the community. And it has my details here. And I guess this one is my registration number. And uh, they also gave me a pamphlet of how to isolate. Um, yeah, so as I wait for my uh, result, I need to isolate at home. And uh, also they've given me uh, I've already scanned the QR code on how to get my results so I believe I'll get the result by tonight or by tomorrow morning and uh, yeah praying that it's negative and uh, I'll also share with you how I get my results it's only through SMS and yeah I'm pretty sure I will receive a text message saying that my result is ready and when I'm ready to get the result, I'll just message them and then they'll, I'll give them my details and then they'll message me the result.